at journey times between Bristol and the capital and see the frequency of services increase. James Hassam is live at Bristol Temple Mead Station for us now. Good evening. James, what are they saying down there? Good evening, David. Well, today's announcement has been greeted here at Temple Meads as good news. I spoke to commuters in the last half hour who said to us that they're very pleased about the news. Anything that will cut journey times and improve the frequency of services has to be treated as good news. But of course, they do have some concerns about disruption that might take place while that work is going on. Well, with us now to talk a bit more about that is Andrew Meller from First Great Western. Andrew, first things first, you're presumably greeting this is, is great news. Yeah, absolutely. It's great news for our customers and it's great news for the industry. New electric trains not only will be deliver uh, reductions in journey times, as you've just mentioned, they'll also be better for the environment as well. What about that question of disruption? What sort of disruption to services will people face while this work's going on? Well, we'll be working through the details with Network Rail, the Department for Transport and other industry partners uh, to make sure that we try and keep disruption to a minimum with our customers whilst these works proceed. Something that hasn't been made clear yet is how this will be paid for. Are customers going to see rises in fares? Well, that's really a question for uh, the Department for Transport. Uh, we're obviously really, really pleased that this announcement has been made today and we're looking forward to uh, the investment that's going to go on on the Great Western route and improve the service that we're able to deliver to our customers. Andrew Meller, thank you very much indeed. Well, a bit of the detail that we can give to you. This is part of uh, three billion pounds worth of investment uh, on rail interest infrastructure, I should say, here in the West. Of that, about £700 million is being spent on improvements to the track, and it's all due to come online by around 2016. What it will mean is that there'll be something like four trains an hour coming through here on the new uh, sped-up line. Uh, two of those will go via Bristol Parkway and two of them from Bath Spa. Of course, as with all of these things, there's always something of a downside, and one can't help but wonder, even with all these improvements and the, uh, the new environmental benefits, what old Brunel himself would have thought at the site of electricity pylons crisscrossing his great old railway from here in Bristol in the west of England through to Paddington in the west of London. Food for thought, perhaps. Back to you. Food indeed. Thank you, James, giving us the upside and the downside of today's uh, announcement. Well, we move on with...